Facial recognition technology is expected to transform shopping, banking, travel, crime prevention, and surveillance. Facial recognition systems have emerged globally and are already in use. One system achieving success is created by Blue Line Technology based in St. Louis. No worries, once you figure out what's happening, it only takes a moment for your face to unlock the door. All that needs to happen for the facial recognition technology to do its job is for a person to lift their head showing their face. Otherwise, look above to the lock on the sign. Until I show my face, That's, it won't open. Until he reveals his face. Blue Line Technologies facial recognition software reads over 350 points on the face. We're examining those in an algorithm. We're doing that in a number of different poses. And we're catching that in a live feed, real time, frame by frame. In a fraction of a second. And it's saved in the database just in case. This Motomart in St. Louis has had the system for a couple years. What does the guy look like that does robberies? Anybody. Right, he's wearing a mask, he's armed. That's very, very, uh, over 90% of the people that do armed robberies are trying to conceal themselves in some manner. If there's not enough points to read your face, it will not open the door. Blue Line's Joe Spies explains how regular customers catch on, and it hasn't slowed down business. They hit this little box, they glance at the camera and they walk in, the door opens, and you can see how quickly it's operating. The facial recognition system unlocks doors in the overnight hours. This busy motomart is right off the exit from the interstate near the Missouri-Illinois state line. Blue Line says this convenience store had a track record of robberies and police service calls. With the facial recognition system, there has been a significant reduction both robbery and for theft. Uh, secondly, they have a lot less nuisance problems. The store is close to the proximity to the highway and to the state line between Missouri and Illinois. It makes it a little bit more likely to be a target of an armed robbery event, and they, they had a couple events. And so they were looking for a new solution that could prevent an armed robbery from occurring. Their most significant value to the system is just the safety and security it gives both their customers and their clerks, especially on the night watch. Most customers are considered an unknown. They can come and go. For the known threats identified in the database, when they show their face, the clerks receive an alert. At night, if that person shows up at, the, at this door, the door will not unlock. Depending on the situation, police may also receive the alert. The other piece of that is, is that many of these people that are involved in criminal behavior think well, they either are or believe they are wanted uh, and they also think that the system is tied into law enforcement. That's another deterrence to them. So if you have a documented gang member who, who has been involved in, in, in violent behavior who thinks he's probably wanted, this is probably not the camera and the story wants to come in at two in the morning. Blue Line has a growing list of clients, from schools to corporations, with milestones as big as the Empire State Building, providing facial recognition technology at the doors. Blue Line also offers two-factor authentication. Someone else may have your card, but not your face. So Don's gonna walk into the facility. He is a known entrant. He will present his card and be validated as Don Deason walking into the facility and through the door. So with that information, we now know that the right person had their credential. In an example of somebody who was stolen a card or is unwanted in the facility, it will display the call 911, threaten HR director. Now we know why that person's there. They are not gonna be allowed access even if they had a valid token credential. And here, the system is used for real-time crime prevention. If a serious crime happens by an unknown, the high-quality pictures can be used forensically to solve the crime. Any entity that's, that's dealing with something that people want, and if you walk in with a gun you're going to get a lot of, uh, really have the opportunity with the system to lock their doors and then make you look at a camera for entry, and it, and it becomes a barrier for that person as well. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.